I I've I've encountered quite a lot of like um, I very like you I very very is being widely used and maximized uh, in in a common conversation uh, in a ESL world so it's kind of cute when they say I very like you and uh, I wouldn't say that's wrong it is still English but it's just the way they use it as a translation saya sangat suka awak so there is n- nothing wrong with it because for me as long as you're comfortable with the language you have to use it and then that's where you try so if you don't try there will be something I could say um, not confident you have insufficient uh, knowledge of the language which you still consider acceptable because you are not the first speaker so you are you don't use it in the first place for every day you use it as a second language so i didn't see any anything um not right about it because what you have to do is to just find the common um ground of your weaknesses and then try to be guided with a sufficient accurate language pattern then you practice it to build your confidence so I did see it as um, as a weaknesses but it's um, it's the way you learn you learn you uh, improved and you're confident in using it and then when you use it confidently with the correct grammar vocabulary that suits the context that's where you gain confidence and uh, when your confidence to communicate you be able to just use it like a native speakers only that your accents will be different and um, and when you communicate something that is right so your message that is being received by the receptor will be accurate so you won't have any communication breakdown because when you miss communicate there will be a, um, an argument because that person doesn't under, doesn't understand and he started like what are you trying to say you know so all this kind of a dramatic situation occur when everything is not being uh, completely conveyed so um, that is why we have exams that's why we have a diploma we have someone that is very professional or even um, competent to hold certain position so that uh, there will be no chaotic um, argument uh, involved the top management and also um, sorry it's red um, I was at the traffic light um, what did I say just now um, yeah the competency the accuracy um, yeah the credibility of the person is going to deliver the message or information so that is why um, there is there are humiliation in between and there will be person who try to uh, humiliate or uh, even try to mock you because the way you say it doesn't sound like the British American or blah 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 whatever it may be but it's just that you have to remember we are English second language user and we don't speak english every day and we use the mixture of three languages some are using like like me myself sarawakian i would use sarawakian uh, sarawak language with my sarawakian friends i'm not gonna use english with them i will throw it out and when i met my friend from kl i will use it most of the time because i'm not gonna communicate with them something that they don't know and when i'm 
teaching in the classroom, I'll be using English. So I have these three chaotic languages in my brain. So I have to switch, switch and switch. And sometimes I have my brain scattered because of I have I fail to to restrict my brain to only one language in the classroom. So I think um, there is no penalty or I can say uh, offense for those who are using English um, like maybe 70% daily like myself I will use like 80 to 90% with 10% or 5% of each I'll talk to my teacher um, sorry my sisters my mom at home so yeah it's fair point to really not judge a person who are not a native speaker to speak English and teach English so it's some kind of like a racism in language when you try to uh, compare the um, accents and uh, even when you go to UK so my experience in Scotland and um, England even the Welsh doesn't even understand the North the Cornish and then the Cockney doesn't understand the Scottish the Scottish doesn't even understand what Edinburgh uh, was saying so Glaswegian is even worse so um, when I went back to Scotland and they prefer my English then they are native people so it's some kind of like very uh, uh, sh like surprising because not everyone have the same experience as I have experienced but yeah you should be proud when you as long as you know the flow you speak it out you use it confidently and your usage is not wrong even sometimes you have a typical error in between well that's that's okay this is acceptable as long as you use it because language is not like math you can't be just like having accuracy like one plus one two two plus two four stuff like that language is art so it's a it's a it's a what do we call it i found it in my paper the thesis the other day oh, i put it there uh it's a language which is a system in your brain like it's an apps you know uh for your brain to adapt use analyze sometimes they will there will be some hiccup so that's it your brain how your brain work how your brain absorbed uh languages some people can speak even six languages so there's nothing significant or uh, great about it but yeah you should be proud if you can speak more than three languages yourself so yeah that's all i am talking quite oh uh, what how long was i uh, was talking i don't know how, how long was it this filter looks so nice okay bye happy sunday